Hello guys, my name is Amit and we are here to see a quick introduction to a docker. As you might know, microservices are everywhere. People are moving from monolithic application to microservices. When they want to run those small services, they need something called as a container. What better than docker provide you a container these days? And that's the reason why docker is very famous. Now you might be having a question then, what is a docker? A docker is a containerization platform that enables developer to build, test and deploy an application very easily and very quickly. When I say containerization platform, that simply means the docker helps you to create an image bundling all the application source code and its dependencies. When the application's bundle is having the application code and dependencies, it works as a unit. These images, once we create them with the application's code and dependencies, they can run on a docker host. A docker host is a machine where you already have installed the docker engine. The docker host can run multiple containers still isolating them from each other, meaning one container doesn't know anything about the other container. So they are isolated from each other. So what is a container then? A container is a unit which contains the application code and the dependent libraries. I think let me explain what container is in a better form. A container is a running instance of a docker image. Earlier I said, when you want to run an application, you have to bundle your application source code and its dependencies in a docker image. Those docker image, once start running, they create the container. The package, it packages the application source code and its dependencies together. This is what you see here, which is considered as a container. The container is having the application source code and all of its binaries. This container is running on top of a container runtime. You can use that container runtime to run the containers or to manage the lifecycle of your container. It provides you the OS level virtualization. In a sense, these multiple containers can share the operating system and they can share the hardware on which they are running. And that is the reason why containers are everywhere, why people are preferring containers. Does that sound similar to you? Mostly, it is similar to virtual machine. So, you might be having a question there. Is container same as virtual machine? The answer is big no. This is not similar to virtual machine. Virtual machine is completely different concept than a container. If you compare these two diagram, you can see that both of them are having hardware, both of them are having operating systems and both of them are having a kind of runtime. On the virtual machine side, we call that runtime as a hypervisor, which provides the virtualized layer of your hardware. While on the other side, on the container runtime, this is not going to virtualize any of your hardware. When you look at the virtual machine, the virtual machine is having the application, the application's binaries or libraries and the operating system, the full bone operating system. It is having exactly the same operating system as you might run that on your bare bone machine. Whereas if you look at the container side, the container is completely missing the operating system. When I say it is missing the operating system, that simply means the operating system is used as a host operating system or multiple containers are sharing the same operating systems running on that hardware side. So if you look at the virtual machine, it takes longer time to boot because the operating system has to start while the containers because it is sharing the operating system with the host, it is way faster than the container. Now you might have seen why containers are faster and why people are after the containers. That was a quick introduction to what exactly do you mean by a docker, do you mean by container and do you mean by a docker image. Thank you very much for your time.